But on any given night, there could be a handful of players that can put the ball in the basket for Louisville. The towels are waving inside the Yum Center. We're set for a top 20 showdown. High up off the window, Sydney Taylor misses, and this is gonna be Virginia Tech basketball. So this is a Louisville team that prides itself on defense. They'll switch one through five. They're all about the same size, Courtney. You talk about Liz Kitley, but you can't talk about her without mentioning Georgia Amor. They are a dynamic duo, not just in the ACC, but in the nation. And then there's Virginia Tech. Plan A is Kitley, plan B is Georgia Amor. And Kitley is going to play in the crowd tonight because Louisville's going to use their quickness to drop in, to dig in, to make Kitley a passer. Louisville Cardinals, we mentioned Kiki Jefferson. Nina Ricards was actually their leading scorer in their last game. It was a gritty one against Boston College. Didn't have their best game, but they pulled it out and won. And Louisville sitting now at 10 and 3 in the ACC. Nyla Harris cutting to the basket. And this will stay with Louisville. One of the top shot blockers. If you over penetrate at the rim, Kitley has the ability to block shots, but you have to challenge her at the same time. It's one way to defend her is to get her off the floor in foul trouble. Yeah, a lot of people talk about her offense, but Kenny Brooks says she is a rim protector too for this Hokies defense. There's Kitley getting the rebound and she'll get it to Georgia Amor. We mentioned Kitley coming off the season high 34 points. How was she so successful against Duke in their last game? Well, they played her straight up one on one and she made him pay for it. The turnover into the hands of Harris. They love the naked two side, two, two man game with Amor and Kitley and they'll go to that a lot and Louisville does a really good job of being aware of that and getting a deflection. Nina Ricards, the transfer from Florida, picking up where she left off in their last game. Tell you what, it's a red house in here. It is a packed place. Louisville always draws well. Amor to Kitley, going to the basket. And draws the foul. Well, this is a tremendous combination up top. Multiple screening action and the back door lob to Kitley. Cochran late and commits that foul, and that's not one she needs to commit. That play was already over. Yeah, the size advantage going towards Virginia Tech's way, and Olivia Cochran's gonna be so important for Louisville down low to compete with Elizabeth Kitley. So she has one foul. Louisville loves the dribble drive. Olivia Cochran has improved this part of her game, the face-up part. Ricards misses into the hands of Kayla King. I would say Virginia Tech is an opportunistic transition team. If they can get an early shot, if it's a, the right person taking the three, otherwise they're going to run to and through Elizabeth Kitley. Yeah, fast break points, not Virginia Tech's specialty. They only average three and a half per game. Kayla King, man, they need her to hit some shots. Yeah, I keep waiting for Kayla King to get hot, and it hasn't happened yet, but it's it's going to happen before the season's over. Amor short on the reverse. Sydney Taylor at the elbow too much. Amor and Kenny Brooks share the same brain. He completely trusts her in the play calling on this end of the floor. And it's even better when the offense is in front of him. Olivia Samuel. Jefferson will push for the cards. And she is fouled by Matilda Eck. With Kenny Brooks getting his team to their very first Final Four. Quick shout out to one of his girls, Kendall. She's turning 26 today. Today's her 26th birthday, but he has been, it's been incredible what he's done with this program, and he treats it like his family, too. Yeah, he is a, a remarkable coach, family first. He's done a tremendous job building Virginia Tech. Castle Coliseum is becoming one of the tougher places to go on the road in the ACC because they've been packing the place. And what's this, game day's going now? Yes, officially. Wow. 
College game day, the next stop will be at Virginia Tech. That's fantastic for Kenny Brooks for what he's been able to build with Kitley and Amor and Kayla King, the three core pieces of this program. Amor sets things up. Coach Brooks told us she would be so important to help identify this Louisville defense, how to work through it today using her basketball brain as she goes inside to Kitley working. Five points, three boards for Elizabeth Kitley. She's going to score, Courtney. You just have to make it challenging as much as you can. And if you can turn her into a passer, that's even better. Ricard's trying to get past Amor. You'll watch Virginia Tech's defense go under a lot of ball screening action because this is not a three-point shooting team. The numbers don't favor Louisville in that way, nor do the percentages, but they're a very good driving team, very good getting to the rim. Now they only shoot 32% from three, and Kitley cooking. That's gonna be a blocking foul on Kayla King. Well, Jeff Walls, incredible what he's done, considering what he lost. Only three returners returned two starters. He's got a whole new group, basically, and he loves coaching this team. Well, he is one of five active coaches right now that have been to four Final Fours. You're talking about a list that includes Tara Vanderveer, Gino Ariyama, Kim Mulkey, and Dawn Staley. It's impressive. It's a pretty good list. Louisville's last Final four coming in 2022. See, now, Kitley won't get a block for that, but her presence made Curry pull up quicker, and you've got to be able to pull up and score with two feet in the paint without over-penetrating against the shot blocker. Yeah, she's constantly making opponents alter their shot. In the corner, missed by Matilda Eck. Virginia Tech gets another chance. This is with a big lineup for Virginia Tech with Strack on the court. She's a 6'5 freshman. She's a player, Courtney, that averages more rebounds than points. She completely understands her role, and she's a tremendous weak side offensive rebounder on the counter to Kitley. Little roll reversal. Kitley dropping a dime to Amor. Courtney, we watched Jeff Walls and his team go through baseline out of bounds plays today, sideline out of bounds. That won't look good on film tomorrow. Jada Curry back up top to Jefferson. Through a double team. Kiki Jefferson has scored over 2,000 points, so she certainly understands how to read defense. Coming off 14 points against Boston College. Jeff Curry wins though with the miss. Yeah, I think more, uh, Marissa Russell got a piece of that. Here goes Russell. Oh. Nyla Harris, get yourself a highlight. Oh, what a spin move inside. She's averaging about six more points per game than she did last year as a freshman. She told us she's feeling confident. Yeah, if you're going to sit on the top side of Elizabeth Kitley in that set, you're not going to be able to get any backside help when it comes through the middle third. So you got to get better ball pressure and try to take that away. Kitley's already has nine points. She has not missed a shot. We haven't had a lot of whistles. Uh, this is good. Are you complaining? No, I'm not complaining. Debbie, don't say that out loud. <laughs> Here's this naked two man. It means just an isolation with two players. Looks like Louisville was ready, and they're going to force the turnover. It comes down into the hands of Harris, and then Strack fouls her. The 6-2 sophomore. Her numbers are going up. Look at this move inside against the 6-5 freshman. Big time play for the Cardinals. I don't like. My daughter says she works in B2B where she sells SEO and MRM to CPGs. I, I don't know how this happened. She was speaking in complete sentences before she was two. 
and now she just mumbles all these alphabets. When I call her, she says she can't speak because she needs to check the CTR on an ESM, ASAP. I blame myself. Should have been around more. Parents don't get B2B. LinkedIn does. And helping marketers reach over 70 million decision makers makes LinkedIn the place to be to be. You know, we talked about everything. His hopes, his dreams, his fears, even his secrets. Not a lot of people know this, but the gecko is actually left-handed. You can see by the way he holds the microphone when he comes to the podium. He made it easy with only his left hand. What hand he chooses to use as his dominant hand, that's his business and no one else's. On one hand, it's so helpful to find the right coverage with Geico. On the other hand, who cares? <laughs> well, I care. From cars to home to jewelry, it's easy to Geico. Not you, Saquon. Hmm? Um, not you either. You! You have a business bank account with QuickBooks Money, now earning 5% APY. Did he say 5% APY? 5% APY? Hmm, that's new. Yep, QuickBooks makes your money work as hard as you do. That's how you business differently. Intuit QuickBooks. Rookies. Men, we've got your pants. The shockingly comfortable ABC pant from Lululemon. You can make money the hard way as a bullfighter or a human cannonball, or save money the easy way with Xfinity Mobile. Existing customers can get a free line of our most popular unlimited plan for a year. Not only will you save hundreds, but you'll also be joining millions who have connected to America's most reliable 5G network. Sure is a lot safer than becoming a stuntman for money. Get a free line of unlimited intro for a year when you buy one unlimited line. Plus, get the new Samsung Galaxy S24 on us. Oh, what? Well, the Naismith Memorial Basketball Hall of Fame announced their Kurt Gowdy Award recipient for electronic media, and it is our very own Debbie Antonelli. This award recognizes members of the electronic and print media for outstanding contributions to basketball, <laughs> and Debbie, you certainly have done that, so congratulations on being this year's oh. award recipient. I was wondering where the flowers were coming over here, Paul. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you very much. It's great to have teammates like you, Courtney, and all of our teammates at ESPN. I'm grateful. and. Um, I'm humbled and I'm honored, so thank you. Yeah, thank you very much, it's everybody. It's been amazing what Debbie has contributed to the game of basketball in general and how you help on and off the court. It's been awesome, so congratulations. Thanks. Thank you very much. And now you have to carry those on the airplane today. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I'll find a nice friend in the arena that will take care of them until I come back the next hey, time. Hey, there that? you go. Well, early on in this one, Virginia Tech up on Louisville, 11 to 7. Elizabeth Kitley, nine points. She's four for four from the field. Nistan Bulolu with the miss for Louisville. It'll stay on this end. What have you noticed about Louisville offensively early in this game? Well, I, I think they're trying to speed up their pace on the defensive end. And when you get to the offensive end, you have to have a little more maturity about you. Your rhythm and your cadence has to change a little bit. I think they're just playing too fast. You know, I think they've sped themselves up on the defensive end, which is what you want because Virginia Tech's a rhythm team. You got to break that rhythm. But you got to have some maturity on the other end to run your stuff. First turnover by Louisville there. Matilda Eck picks up her dribble, gives it back to Amor. Ten seconds on the shot clock for the Hokies. Oh, they dribble right in. They played right into that switch. Wenzel gets it off in time off. Curry a bit out of control, but somehow finds Marissa Russell. Yeah, she can thank Russell for that assist because it was getting ready to be a turnover. 
That's what I'm talking about, under control, with balance. Amor, fearless, driving in all 5-7 of her, and she'll go to the free throw line. Yeah, watch this play right here. Curry's rumbling, stumbling, and Russell bails her out. Nice floater in the lane by Russell. First foul against Jada Curry of Louisville. NC State today wins in overtime at home against Georgia Tech. You see a lot of close scores right now. South Carolina trailing Georgia in the third quarter at home. They trailed it's at that, the half. It's that time of year, Courtney, right? The I best mean, time. It's the best time if you're a fan because the grind is for real with the players and the teams. And, and any night, anything can happen right now as we move closer to March. It's the beauty of basketball. Oh, and Jada Curry. Rolling on the floor looked like she felt that fall. I think Louisville has worked so hard to play off the bounce that, you know, that, that Curry has hit the deck a couple of times tough. They're really trying to drive it right at the paint and at Elizabeth Kidley. Curry took a second there to catch her breath. Transfer from Cal, misses the first. Well, this week's Big Monday doubleheader starts at 7 Eastern. It's here on ESPN. You can see the Virginia Tech men host number 21 Virginia in Blacks Blacksburg. That's followed by a top 10 matchup. 10th ranked Iowa State meeting up with number three Houston with first place in the Big 12 on the line. That's coming up on Monday. It's always a great rivalry, Virginia, Virginia Tech. I had Tony Bennett's team last yesterday, actually yesterday afternoon. They, Did you forget what day it they was? They won a two-point game. <laughs> uh, it was a 49-47 victory for Virginia. It's fun to be there. Great atmosphere. It'll be uh, huge in Blacksburg. Sold out Castle Coliseum for that one. Mike Young's team looking for a big win. They've had some great crowds at Castle for the men and women this season. Tough place to play. Carly Winslow with the reverse lay-in. Louisville going fast. Russell, too much. This is definitely Louisville's tempo, though. Kayla King trying to dish it back up top to Amor. And it's going to be Louisville ball. Carly Wenzel off the bench does a nice job of reading the second level and no one rotates to stop penetration. Once you beat your primary, there should be someone else there to stop you and no one was there. So she takes it to the other side. Nice finish. That's her first field goal in two games. She came in our last two games over three. Well, in, in the Duke game, the last game Virginia Tech played only four players scored. Yeah. They're going to need more balance than that. Olivia Cochran wanted the foul call, did not get it. They're missing some shots at the rim. Louisville three for seven on layups. Sumiel, corner pocket, called it. That should loosen some things around Strack inside. First three by Tech. They're one for six. Up and in. Jada Curry looks to be okay. All you young players, you should know this. Watch Baker. She reaches with her arm, not her body in the passing lane, and that gives Curry a lane to the bucket. A straight line drive and a great finish with contact. Jada Curry's already taking a beating in this first 10 minutes of this game, but not playing like it. Spent two seasons at Cal, was two-time All-Pac-12, and now here she is in a Louisville Cardinals uniform. This will be the last possession of the quarter here for Virginia Tech. Surprised Kenny Brooks doesn't put Kitley back in for an offensive possession. And she does have that one foul, but she hasn't missed a shot. Into the corner, wide open, it's a miss. Sumiol tried to get it, Kayla King coming out with it. Amor for two at the elbow, swish! 
Two looks thanks to the hustle. Collegiate career as a back-to-back -back ACC player of the year. Looking to make it three in a row. It's only happened two other times. Yes. Elena Beard, who's on that graphic with yes. Barbara Kennedy. And Alyssa Thomas. That's right. Courtney Lyle and Debbie Antonelli with you from Louisville. And Matilda Eck holding the follow through. Second three pointer that Virginia Tech's hit today. How about that behind the back swing, swing by Georgia Amore? Keep in mind, Virginia Tech going under all ball screen action. Nina Ricard's off the rim, and Virginia Tech keeps its largest lead here at 10. Samuel does a really good job on that switch and contests at the rim without fouling. Eck, feeling it! And Jeff Walls is gonna call timeout. Two straight from Matilda Eck from behind the arc. Louisville wants to talk about it. Virginia Tech up 26 to 13 here in the second. You know what I love? Hey, look at this. What? Saved nearly $750. With that kind of money, we could fly south. Except we don't migrate. No, I'm talking actually fly. <sighs> Sit back, relax, maybe work on my novel. And I won't forget the little birds out there. Actually, yes, I will. Wow, money changed you. Just keeping it real. Do people still say that? Switch to Progressive and you could save hundreds to spend on whatever you dream up. When you share a hotel room with your kid, you also share a bedtime with your kid. But if you get an Airbnb, you get to pick your own. We never had anything like this. What, Wi-Fi? Wi-Fi that works all over the house, even the basement. The basement? So I can finally throw that party and invite Shannon Barnes. Dreams do come true. Xfinity gives you reliable Wi-Fi with wall-to-wall -wall coverage on all your devices, even when everyone is online. Maybe we'll even get married one day. I wonder what I'll be doing. Probably still living here with mom and dad. Fast, reliable speeds right where you need them. That's wall-to-wall Wi-Fi on the Xfinity 10G network. Well, more great women's college basketball coming up Monday night over on ESPN2. 16th ranked Notre Dame taking on the Duke Blue Devils at Cameron Indoor. That game time is 7 Eastern. Both teams looking to rebound after the Fighting Irish. They were beaten at home last Thursday by NC State. Blue Devils taken down by this Virginia Tech team. Uh, Hannah Hidalgo for Notre Dame in the, yes. the conversation for a national freshman of the year. Along with Juju Watkins. Yeah, those yeah, are a couple of good ones. I wouldn't leave out Madison Booker at Texas, Texas in any of my conversation about national freshman of the year. She's been fantastic when Rory Harmon went down. You know, she's had to step up and take a bigger role for Vic Schaefer and the Texas Longhorns, and she has done that. Well, Jeff Walls called an early timeout in the second quarter after two three-pointers made by Virginia Tech. Yeah, I like the timeout because Matilda Eck was getting hot and it settled down his team and they execute off the timeout, which is critical. We welcome you into the KFC Yum Center here in Louisville. Courtney Lyle and Debbie Antonelli with you for a top 20 matchup. A rematch of the ACC Tournament Championship game last year. You see how the ACC stacks up right now. Virginia Tech at the top of the conference. Louisville sitting at fourth at 10-3. and three. You want to be a top four seed. 
one of those top four teams so you get the double bye in the tournament. Yeah, so important right now when everyone's talking about the nitty gritty of the NCAA. In this league, the ACC tournament title is coveted and so is the regular season in a year where it might be one of the best that the league has ever seen. Nine teams right now seated by Charlie Cream in the bracketology. No other league has that, Courtney. Well, Virginia Tech has brought their offense on the road. They are shooting 56% from the field. Georgia Amor hits the fourth three-pointer. That's what you call punishing the switch. Louisville switches one through five, and Georgia Amor, one of the top point guards in the country, uses the bounce to separate from the defense. Georgia Amor and Elizabeth Kitley, you'll hear those two names a lot for Virginia Tech. They each have nine points to start this game. Nina Ricard's up and in. She was their leading scorer in their win over Boston College on Thursday. Louisville has got to find a way to break the rhythm of Virginia Tech, and they've hit three triples here in the second quarter. Two of them coming from X. She won't get a third. They start the game out establishing Elizabeth Kitley, which they did, nine points in the first quarter. Then the second quarter, things loosen up a little bit on the perimeter, and they hit shots. That's the balance of this terrific offense for Kenny Brooks, the head coach. Amor going to her favorite target, Elizabeth Kitley. At 6'6", you're not going to find anyone else that has the footwork, the fadeaway, the ability to get a deep catch, and a combination of all of that in the country. She's the only one with that size that can do all those things. The cards rattles out, and now Elizabeth Kitley with that last bucket on the other end. She is in sole possession of third in ACC career points. Watch Elizabeth Kitley right here. She gets positioned inside, and she does a great job of holding her seal. Now watch, as the play goes away, they clear it out. There's no help. She catches so quick to make that move. The Kitley special, right? The little fadeaway. She's so good at it. Over that right shoulder, which is really challenging. Look at this duo. They've combined for 40.4 points per game. That's the fifth best duo in the nation. And Georgia Amor has assisted Kitley more times than any other duo in the nation. Good defense by Cochran inside. Kiki Jefferson, Louisville's leading scorer. They needed that. I'd say that's a weight room bucket right there. She kept her shoulder square to the backboard so she could handle any contact to finish. She's got seven. Louisville fans wanted a travel by Amor. Georgia lets it fly. Crushed it. Oh, ho, ho. Ho, ho. The crowd was picking up, and Amor puts the silencer on him. What does it do for Kenny Brooks to have a point guard like Georgia Amor? Oh, my Amor? goodness. Everyone in the country would love to have Georgia Amor on their team. She makes everybody else's job easier. She is a tremendous point guard who I say sees the three Ws. Who to get the ball to when and where. Kenny Brooks has talked about how smart this group is. And the head of the snake, Georgia Amor. Matilda Eck, she's just taking what she wants. The other thing he told us is that Eck is more than a three-point shooter. That time, straight line drive down the lane line. I mean, don't get me wrong. They'll take her two threes that she hit <laughs> yeah, already. Exactly. <laughs> the cards misses Nyla Harris. Didn't get the bucket, but will go to the free throw line. You were talking about point guards. You got some bullet points for us when you look for a good point guard? Yes, Courtney. I think there are five really important qualities that good point guards have to have, starting with Georgia Amor. You got to have great leadership and a voice on the top of the floor. You got to have the handles to control the ground. Three level scoring from the three to the free throw line to the rim, and then you have to make your teammates better. And then defense is a part of the equation as well, because usually the point guard sets the tone on the top of the floor. Georgia Amor checks every box. Did it pain you to put defense on a there? A little, okay? just a little. I could have added a few more <laughs> offensive <things. laughs> It is important. 
Georgia Amor, amazing point guard, but also, I mean, there's good point guards in the ACC. This conference has got a lot of them. Yeah, this is a really good guard league, and it always has been, and that, that's what has allowed this league to have success in the postseason, because once you get to the postseason, possession shrink, the court shrinks, and you gotta have guards that can make plays. Kitley working away from the basket, no problem. I'm up to 13. I'm telling you, this is where at 6'6", she's improved so much. Her ability to work off of any screening action that Kenny Brooks wants to put her in. They will move her all over the floor. That's how she had so much success against Duke. One, and Duke didn't bring a double team on her. She had a season high 34 points in their last game. You know, they bring her away from the bucket and then they dive her back and she catches in the paint with two feet. And that's tough at 6'6 to, to guard because her move is very quick. She's perfected it over and over with Kenny Brooks, who does all of her personal workouts. Carly Winslow running things with Georgia Amor getting a breather on the sideline. She won't be over there for long. I mean, too easy. And that is not an easy shot. Too good. She just sizes you up, uses her bounce, and then gets into her separation moves with her footwork. Jada Curry for Louisville. Four seconds for the cards. And Nyla Harris. This woman has worked on her game so much. Talked to her today at shoot around. She said, I'm just confident shooting the basketball. She didn't get a lot of time last year, but she waited her turn. She worked in the off season. She sizes up Somiel and does a nice job of with contact finishing. I asked, where's your favorite shot on the floor? She goes, I do like the baseline. She wasn't far from it. I think she's a true testament to those that stay, work, get better, show some mental toughness, come out and get rewarded for it. Nyla Harris would be that player for Jeff Walls. She's averaging six more points per game than she did last season. Kayla King, if she could get going and get out of a little funk, that would be big for the Hokies moving forward. Is that five triples in the second quarter? Yes, it is. They're five of six from three. That's your type of game. <laughs> yeah, it's gonna be an offensive foul on Marissa Russell. She laid that shoulder into her defender. Georgia Amor back in the game. Russell will take a seat. Kiki Jefferson comes back on for Louisville. Well, Louisville's got to find a way to get some easy buckets, so their defense has to generate some extra possessions for them, and they really need to get to the free throw line. They've only, they're five for eight. They need to double up what Virginia Tech does. Now they're 15th in the nation in free throws made per game. Well, coming up on the Jeep Halftime Report, Kelsey Riggs, Rebecca Lobo got you covered. Number one, South Carolina in a dogfight with Georgia. That has been a tough game for them. College game day was there. They'll have the breakdown, all of that coming up at the half. Plus, they'll take a look at that overtime thriller in Raleigh. Corner too much for Sydney Taylor. Virginia Tech has hit its last six shots. Offensive foul on X, that's her second. And Nyla Harris doing a really good job of establishing and obtaining legal guarding position. Watch this, remember that restricted area doesn't matter for the women's game. That arc is on the floor for the men. And Harris does a really good job of getting to the spot. Eck will take a seat, eight points. Jeff Wall's going to the horn set right here. And they get Kiki Jefferson a nice look. He knows they're going under, so they're gonna keep running that. The one thing that Jeff Walls and Kenny Brooks both do really well is they don't overcoach it. If it works, they keep going to it. Karis Baker. Jefferson up ahead to Taylor. 
Oh. One-handed for Sydney Taylor. Three on two, you need to score. George Amor says, I can do it too. Yeah, Kitley's po strong post up took the help away. And once Amor got past her primary, there was no one there to help. It's a post assist if we could keep it in the stats. All right, Kiki. Make it 10. Boy, this crowd is really trying to give this team a lift especially on this end of the floor where they really haven't been able to stop Virginia Tech. Karis Baker waiting. My goodness. Drive down the lane line. You just lean a little bit to help on the strong side shooter. And it's money. You're not supposed to on a shooter. You got to stay home. Shooter doesn't mind if you do, though. Seven made threes in the first half for the Hokies. Kiki Jefferson on another level right now, carrying Louisville back into this game. She's got 15. Kidley with 15 points, eight rebounds. If you're Louisville, you hope that Kiki Jefferson did not cool off in the locker room. She had 12 of her 15 points in that second quarter. Well, if Jeff Walls will run some stuff for her early here in this matchup with X, see if he can get her going. As you say, keep that hot hand and go to the free throw line maybe would be one way. Although um, that might be on the floor. Yeah, that's gonna be the third on X and they will call it on the floor here. Eck will take a seat with those three fouls. Breaking in the basket is Sydney Taylor. I mean, all she did was curl around the screens, and Kayla King was lock and trail, and that was a very well executed baseline out of bounds play. So now Louisville's hit its last five shots going back to the second quarter. We mentioned Kitley, but Amor, by the way, had 14 points in the first half. Kayla King, her second uh -huh. three of the afternoon. Remember we talked about it's coming. She has not had a night where she has gone off from outside the three. Now she's got two. Looking for a big game out of Kayla King, and it hasn't happened yet. She's just past the 1,000 point mark in her career, too, with that long ball. Amor weaving, working, 16 points. The well, Louisville's not a, in a position right now in the game where they can just trade baskets with Virginia Tech. They're gonna have to get some stops on the defensive end. Nina Ricards will get the bounce, she's up to eight. Here comes the full court pressure, man to man. I think they might face guard Amor here and make somebody else handle, see if that will cause some disruption to the rhythm of Virginia Tech. Coming all over to King. Wenzel trying to go inside to Kitley. Pass was deflected by Taylor. Seven seconds. And they swing it to Amor in the corner. Are you kidding? Uh oh. The Hokies can shoot till their arm falls off. They are on fire outside the arc. Amor oh, alone goodness. is three for three. They've got nine triples so far in the game. That's right at their season average. They make 9.2 threes per game. Nyla Harris answers with the two, which leads the ACC. So Carly Wenzel handling it now. As Nina Ricards is trying to cover up Georgia Amor. Easier said than done. My goodness. Always 
always knows where Kitley is. I heard them on a podcast this week. They have this chemistry, and they know if one of them's on, they just say, give her the basketball. It's a feel more than a conversation. Sydney Taylor switches. And Louisville's going to call timeout. Georgia Amore, the point guard extraordinaire. The drive and the finish. No help. And then one good shooter passes it to another for the deep corner three. They're on fire, nine triples. Give it their old power tool. And she'll gain the confidence to create. The strength to go against the grain. Before you know it, she'll have worked her way up to joiners and jigsaws. Because when you give a girl a power tool, she becomes an even more powerful woman. What if the promise of better work wasn't just something we dreamed about, but something we found? This might be the one. Or better yet? No way! Something that found us. I got the interview. I recommend La Roche-Posay Lipicar Body Cream. One application a day keeps very dry skin away. 48-hour hydration helps repair the skin barrier. La Roche-Posay. percent APR on this Buick Envision. Plus, current eligible non-GM owners get 3,500 purchase allowance, plus no monthly payments for 90 days. You know, Coach K, retirement looks good on you. Who needs championships when you can look at birds? Uh, Coach, I'm looking at a goat. A hospital bill for 1200 bucks? Gap! Did you say gap? He's talking about the expenses health insurance doesn't cover. But with Aflac, uh -huh. you can get money to help close that gap. Aflac, huh? Aflac! Gap! Aflac! Gap! Get help with expenses health insurance doesn't cover at Aflac.com. We were just talking about her, so let's hear from Georgia A. Moore in our Wooden Watch, brought to you by Principal. Personally, what drives me to be the best is definitely the fear of not reaching my full potential and knowing that I have so much more to give and not tapping into that. But for a team standpoint, you know, the coaches and the girls, they put in so much effort and I would be cheating them if I didn't give them 100%. There's no doubt that Georgia Amore gives 100%. Her last seven games since her return from a concussion, she's averaging over 20 points and over eight assists per game. She's got 19.6 assists today. Only one person in the country has more assists than Georgia Amore. Maybe you've heard of her. Her name's Caitlin Clark. I think so. Yeah, uh, Georgia controls the ground. She's a great leader. She understands what I call the three W's, who to get the ball to, when and where. She has a full handle on the personnel at her disposal. And she stepped out of bounds. Kenny Brooks. What a luxury to have Georgia Amor. And you mentioned it. Look at these two. Look at the bottom note here. The only two players in D1 with 17 plus seven and two a game. Kenny Brooks switches to a zone off that Jeff Walls timeout. And there's a foul on the floor. Louisville very good in their baseline out of bounds execution the last time. Let's see if Virginia Tech will stay in that zone.
Looks like they will stay in that 2-3. You like the change? I like it because Louisville hasn't hit a lot of threes and you got to make them hit some threes. Protect inside out. Especially when you go with a big lineup with Strack and Kitley together. Kitley gets the switch. She's pointing where she wants the pass come from for the lob. She's got the smaller Ricards on her. They throw it in there and she's fouled. Watch Kitley point. She's got it right here. Watch her point where she wants the pass to come from. There she's saying, pass it to Strack because we're gonna go over the top on a lob. She catches in traffic and draws the foul. Nice work by Elizabeth Kitley. Tech sticking with the zone. How do you attack it if you're Louisville? Well, Sydney Taylor is a very good three-point shooter, so you got to run her off some screening action, have her cut through the zone, or she can drive like that. Take it in, Taylor. She's got to love it when she sees a zone. Jeff Walls told us today, Sydney Taylor has got to attack off the bounce. She is extremely athletic. They want her to use that. They got it to 12. They get a stop right here and a score. They're yeah. Gonna be right back in it. Look how quickly Virginia Tech's accelerating through their stuff now. You see, this is what Louisville needed to do all game is get them off balance. Speed them up. Don't let them be get comfortable. They also lead the league in assists. Uh-oh, George Amore comes up a little bit limping. You would have to make her come out of the game. <laughs> so like I'm immediately going to inbound. Don't even look over here. Yeah, she's a great athlete, and she's an incredible competitor, and she has toughness, physical and mental toughness. The foul was on Marissa Russell, her second. Kitley off the inbound, too easy. That's 19 points for her. Kitley and Amor both with 19 points. They combined to average 40 points a game. They're almost there. And Samiel reaches from behind. It's going to be the third on her. When you're playing that zone, it still has man-to-man -man principles. You can't let somebody cut across the front of your face. And we've hit five minutes in the quarter, so we step aside. Virginia Tech still up, shooting almost 70% from the field. Thank you, Agent State Farm. Like a good neighbor, State Farm is there. Cut. Hey, Arnold, I'm hearing neighbor. It's neighbor. That's what I said, neighbor. Hey, let's go again. Like a good neighbor, State Farm is there. Cut. Neighbor. Still no. Neighbor. Neighbor. Bar bah! Get me under this chopper. Like a good neighbor, State Farm is there. Cut. <sighs> Some of the most brilliant minds in business. No, not you, or you. You, you auto track business income and expenses with QuickBooks. And you, you pay all your employees easily and accurately. And you have a business bank account with market leading APY. Get the full picture of your business on one platform. Now with expert help when you need it. That's how you business differently. Big plans? Don't let allergies get in your way. This is Astapro Allergy. Astapro starts working in 30 minutes, while Flonase takes up to 12 hours. With Astapro's unbeatably fast allergy relief, you can Astapro and go. If you want this, you gotta go into the store and just be like, give me the Dung King's Munchkin Skewer. The Dung King's Munchkin Skewer. Too much of a mouthful? Oh, how many times can you say it fast? It's been a long time since I did the acting exercises. <laughs> yeah, we know. <laughs> the Dung King's Munchkin Skewer. We got a good, 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 good day. 
Nobody likes to be told what to do. Except when someone says, Hey! Peter Reese's! Did you know sweat from stress is actually smellier than other kinds of sweat? That's why I use Secret Clinical Antiperspirant. It provides three times stress sweat protection. Danielle? Secret works. This tax season, it's time to get with Straight Talk Wireless. You get unlimited data and this Samsung Galaxy A14 on them so you can give your janky phone to your kid. Yeah! Turn your tax refund into a U-fund with Straight Talk Wireless. <laughs> cheese it snap. So good we may run out of cheese. ESPN's exclusive presentation of college basketball is brought to you by American Idol. New episodes Sundays at 8, 7 Central, stream on Hulu. Well, next Sunday over on the ACC Network, women's basketball has three featured games. It starts at noon Eastern with Notre Dame and Boston College, followed at 2 by North Carolina and this Virginia Tech team. Then at 5.30 Eastern, Duke hosting NC State that's coming up on Sunday on the ACC Network. Full slate of games that are all impactful in the race and the seeding in the ACC tournament. Keep in mind, top four teams get the double bye. I don't know how you could possibly win this year in the ACC if you don't have the double bye. Playing one extra game will be taxing on anybody. So there's a kick ball, they'll do this again. We saw Virginia Tech go to a zone before the timeout. Olivia Cochran with the bucket. She's been quiet. In fact, those are her first points today. Quiet. Remember, Courtney, I said I thought they would switch up their defense in the break, and they did. Have you done this before? A few years. <laughs> Wow. Roar to oh. Amor. I mean, you try to take away the three with a longer closeout, and she blows by. You bring a short closeout, she sticks the triple. Now they're back in the zone. Amor's got over 20 points for the 12th time this season. Look at how Virginia Tech is communicating, talking all action. Jada Curry, she'll go for two instead. Yes. Good pump fake by Curry. Louisville's got to get it done on this end. They trap Amor, forces her into the turnover. It will stay with Louisville. I mean, Amor tries to stretch the trap, but that pass over the top is too tough. And watch this right here. Here comes the trap, but then watch Olivia Cochran right here. She jumps out into the passing lane because she sees it and reads it. Gets a turnover for Louisville. That's exactly what they need. Harris feeding Cochran, cutting, and finally the offense coming for Olivia Cochran. Uh, welcome to the game, Big O. Louisville's hit its last four shots. That's off of Jada Curry's foot. Big O, second on the team in scoring, makes herself available in the logo area through contact, and here she comes. Getting louder inside the Yum Center. Got the towels going. Might have been a double dribble. Amor's going to get it away and get it over to Clara Strack in time. So while we've been talking about Virginia Tech changing their defense, Louisville has also, they've gone to trapping ball screens and trapping Amor, making somebody else beat them, make her get the ball out of her hands. And it's worked, two possessions. Cochran in and out. Winslow will slow things down. Amor comes and gets it. They've got 20 seconds to work.
There comes the trap. And she stepped over the line. She sure did. So they've gone to the trap three times, and twice they've created turnovers. It's exactly the way Louisville needs to get extra possessions. Again, they're trapping this ball screen action. You see Amor stop, uh, put her foot on the, on the uh, half court line. This plays for Olivia Cochran. Cochran asking for it back. She'll step into a three. Well, she had a good look at it, but she hasn't made one all year. Second look won't drop either. So you got to get out of the middle third with the ball screen action. There's a ghost action by Kitley. Because you know they're trapping, so run your ball screen stuff to the side. Wenzel taking it, going over the top of Olivia Cochran. I think Georgia Amor shows incredible confidence in her teammates. Back outside to Taylor. And Elizabeth Kitley is going to be fouled by Cochran. That's her second. I like it. Big O getting aggressive. She's got to. In her fourth year with Louisville, she's got the opportunity to come back if she wanted to next year. As someone who loves the college game, I hope she comes back. Yeah. Amor had six turnovers in the Duke game. She's had a few here in this quarter. Curry too much. Louisville fans thought that Kitley fouled Cochran. D. Kantner, the official signaling for a flop. So that'll go as a warning. Oh, wow, what a stick by Kitley. And now she's over 20 points. Both her and Georgia Amor over the 20 point mark. They'll adjudicate the flop at the next dead ball. Jefferson fouled by Liz Kitley, her second. Kitley comes down with a rebound in a crowd. Does she move the ball in her arms together? See, I, I think that's a basketball play. I don't think there's anything intentional about that. But there is contact above the shoulders. Usually they go and look at that. Kiki Jefferson looking for her first points in the third quarter. The men have a rule called the cylinder rule. We don't have that in the women's game. I wish we did, because that's exactly the play right there where the defense is right underneath the offensive player. That's a tough one. Two for Jefferson. Well, I mentioned Elizabeth Kitley has 20 points. Virginia Tech has fared well in her career when she scores 20 or more points. They're 47 and nine, including 13 and one this season. She's got a double-double, adding 10 rebounds to that. That's her 19th double-double this year. She's the go-to and she's the bailout. I like what Louisville's doing here defensively, being disruptive. Amor almost stepped over the line again. 10 seconds now. Louisville, all kinds of pressure. Jump ball, possession arrow to Tech. If you're Jeff Walls, you've got to be pleased with the effort your players have given here. You just haven't been able to get it closer than 10. You know, they've had some good looks on the offensive end, but what they're doing defensively has been disruptive and has broken the rhythm of Virginia Tech. I mean, come on, they're shooting 70% from the floor. You've got to do something to change their flow. Two seconds. Time for a catch and dribble. X coming in. Doesn't need the dribble. They've been really good on out-of-bounds plays. Of 
Courtney Lyle and Debbie Antonelli with you. Ten minutes to go in a game where Virginia Tech is shooting 71% from the field. That would be an ACC season high. But we've seen Louisville come on more aggressive with their defense, especially in that third quarter. King in and out. Well, Virginia Tech is 12 for 13 on layups in the game. They've made their layups, and they've done a good job of making free throws. Three for three. That's why they're so efficient. Louisville was getting the pressure defensively, but they weren't finishing on the offensive end. They didn't score for the last three and a half minutes of the third quarter, and that changes with Jada Curry. I don't know how much longer Kenny Brooks is going to stay in this zone. Because Louisville is finding a way. So Virginia Tech gets a more off the ball because of the trapping on the ball screen action. She did turn it over a couple of times. She's got to handle so much responsibility for this team. See, look, Louisville's pushed them way out of their offense. Then there's the bailout. Kitley, a rare miss, a rare back-to-back -back miss. You mentioned the turnovers. Virginia Tech did have five turnovers in the third quarter. Cochran trying to give her spell space. Shuffle got the Louisville crowd going. Kayla King, there it is, her third three-pointer today. I'm telling you, she's not done either because her stroke looks like it looked last year. Smooth. And Amor does such a great job of setting her up. That little shovel pass that she makes to Kayla King puts it right in the pocket. And she shot 37, almost 38% from three last year. Nina Ricard with a spin and up and in. She's into double figures. Louisville's got to keep the heat on. And Virginia Tech needs to stay aggressive in running their stuff against the ball pressure. Foul on Jada Curry. Her second. Watch this play right here. Nice move inside. Ricard's high off the glass. Uh, talking to her at shoot around, she said she's had to play more of that point guard position than she did at Florida. It's forced her to be a little more patient with her offense. Samuel does not get the bounce. Look at the pace picking up for Louisville. They need to change the pace on both ends of the floor. Offensive rebound by Nyla Harris. And we haven't heard much from Jefferson. She takes the shot there. She had just two points in the third quarter. It's Kayla King holding the back of her head after hitting the deck. Louisville picking up their aggressiveness on the glass, looking to crash. A lot of contact. There's contact in there, especially the game's picking up, right? Nobody's in foul trouble. Rejects the screen, Ricards falls down. Oh! Open paint for Georgia Amor. 23 points now, she's nine for 10 from the field. I mean, she is just toying with Louisville right here. It's her change of pace. It's another gear. It's how she reads the switch. Okay, the defender falls down and then she comes off the screen and if you don't cut her off, there's no help. You gotta worry about Kitley posting up. You gotta think about the drop-off pass. She's got her eighth double-double. They've all been points, assists, double-double, and that's a foul on Amor. Well, you had two whistles on that one, so both officials in agreement on that. That's her first. Somebody's got to come take it out for Louisville. Oh, 
Jefferson getting the bounce. That's the vulnerable spot inside that zone around the ACC area. Jefferson certainly capable of the mid-range. She had 12 of her 19 in the third quarter. Kitley just fades away. My goodness. Wow. It's a post clinic inside. Her footwork is tremendous. Curry misses, gets her own rebound. Jefferson stepping into it. Louisville's got to get some stops right now at 17 points. They still have time, but they've got to get three stops in a row, three scores to make this a game. That's a poor pass from the top. Swatted away by Curry, looking for the transition bucket, and Kayla King defends it well. What a great hustle play by Kayla King, because now she allows Virginia Tech to set their defense. This feed over the top is a great hustle play by King. Kayla King starts to get her swagger back. Watch out. Another weapon. Louisville just gets it in in time. Cochran. Third foul on Kitley. Cochran gets into the body of Kitley. Draws a foul. Kitley liked a little verticality there, I think. You know, sometimes when you bump into the chest of someone, you naturally fold. Well, this week's Big Monday doubleheader starts at 7 Eastern here on ESPN. You can see the Virginia Tech men take on number 21, Virginia in Black Blacksburg. That's followed by a top 10 matchup. 10th ranked Iowa State, number three, Houston. Iowa State, Houston, if you like defense, Kelvin Sampson's club is one of the best defensive teams in the country. It is a defensive clinic watching their team play. Do you like to watch a defensive I clinic, actually Debbie? don't, but I yeah. like watching Kelvin Sampson's <laughs> team. Good save. <laughs> will they be shooting till their arm falls off in that game? <laughs> Iowa State will be. Yeah, there you go. It could be, uh, or could resemble a rock fight in that game, but I'm telling you what, the guards are too good for Houston. Curry, no. Louisville now three for 14 from behind the arc. Five minutes to go. Virginia Tech has led by as many as 18 today. And we step aside, Virginia Tech, a pick. You always got your mind on the green. Not you. You. Your business bank account with QuickBooks Money now earns 5% APY. That's how you business differently. Intuit QuickBooks. Wendy's breakfast two for three is so good, the crew is giving every combination code names. This squared. Egg and cheese biscuit and sausage biscuit. Two biscuits. I'm impressed Tyler knew what squaring was. Math lutz. No matter what you call it, choose wisely. Choose Wendy's breakfast two for three. Shoot. Shoot. OK, I'll shoot. What's happening? But I don't see any hoop. No, I said that because of, uh, I'm sorry, shoot. I'll shoot. Where's the hoop? They don't have one. You stop saying yes. I didn't know. They're going to want the jingle for this. OK. Like, like a, a good neighbor, neighbor State, State Farm, Farm is there. there. Don't worry. State Farm makes it easy to file a claim on the app for a new car or even that old pacer. Someone call for an old pacer? Like a good neighbor, State Farm is there. I recommend La Roche-Posay Lipicar Body Cream. One application a day keeps very dry skin away. 48-hour hydration helps repair the skin barrier. La Roche-Posay. What's up at DQ? These two are debating which $7 meal deal, with fries, drink, and a sundae, is the best full-size meal deal of all. Cheeseburger. Chicken strips. There's something for everyone in the $7 meal deal at DQ. Happy tastes good.
Get 0.9% APR on this Buick Envision. Plus, current eligible non-GM owners get $3,500 purchase allowance. Plus, no monthly payments for 90 days. That is must-see TV. Give her the ball! Are you kidding me? And it's a tie game. He dropped it! I can't believe what I am witnessing. The streak wins! It's in for the win! Attorney oh! time coming up. Time now for today's Need to Know, brought to you by the USPS Ground Advantage. Elizabeth Kitley, only player in ACC history in the top 10 in rebounds. Now points as of this game. Well, she was before, but now she's third and blocks. And she's going for a third ACC Player of the Year title. She's been phenomenal all season, so consistent, so talented. You know, you want your offensive game to always make the defense wrong. No matter what coverages they throw at you, you always find an answer. And she and Georgia Amor always do have an answer. Matilda Eck. That was a pretty good Euro step around the defense. Eck's got 12. She's one of three players for the Hokies in double figures. Amor and Kitley are the other two with 23 apiece. Look at Big O flashing in the middle of the paint. You better give number 44 the ball when she's that big and that wide inside. Borrowed Kitley's fadeaway to shoot over the top of her. Oh, somebody else picked up her dribble and then turned it over. Good fight in Louisville during this. Second half, Jeff Walls has tried as many things as he could try, but they just haven't made enough shots. That's a wide open 15 foot jump shot in the middle of the zone. And it's hard to not be making shots when your opponent's hitting 67% now from the field. I still think Louisville can be really dangerous. They can put it all together. Oh yeah, I'm not sure they've had a, a peak game yet this year. You can see flashes on both sides of the ball. That's the third on Sydney Taylor. When you look at Louisville, they're all the same size, pretty much. That's why they switch on everything. There's a switch to steal, and there's a switch to contain. Here comes a double. Amor gets it to Eck. Eight seconds. Calix King is going to be a little bit short. Kitley offensive board stays with the Hokies. Those are the plays where I want to see Kitley power to the basket, like not lose her balance, you know, dribble the ball like she wants to score, not just put it down. Big difference. <laughs> like that? Yes. <laughs> I would even like to hear a little sound effect out yeah. of her. Here's the switch. And there's Kitley fouled. Second on Kiki Jefferson. Look, Elizabeth Kitley knows she's the targeted player on the top of every scouting report, and she handles her emotions so well. It's not easy being 6'6 and everybody collapsing on you all the time, yet she has per perfected and worked on her craft over and over. You got mad respect for players that add to their skill set every year. And you put her combined with Georgia Amor, they average just over 40 points per game. Today they are past that mark, 23 each. We can add one more for Kitley. She's at 24 now after that free throw. When you have so much skill, Courtney, you know, and, and no matter what the defense brings, you have a counter. You have something that you can go to. They both have it in their offensive skill set. Little runner by Jada Curry on the baseline. The other thing, too, is secondary ball handlers have done a decent job for Virginia Tech when the ball's not in Amor's hands all the time. 
And they've had to use that because of this trap that Louisville has brought starting in the third quarter where you bring a ball screen and they like to use the trap. Three seconds. <laughs> I almost went in. <laughs> well, Jeff Walls is going to go and show his players in film how many wide open shots they've had and how they have not been able to knock them down. And then if you start knocking down some shots, then it fuels your defensive energy just a little bit more. The closest they got was 10, right? I think so, yeah. Just in this quarter alone, they're only shooting 35% from the field. Five of 14. I mean, it wow. is a work of art. It is gorgeous. And they feed the post so well, their timing is so good, and then Kitley delivers. Watch this play in here, okay? Look at the post up, wide open, steps away with separation. And it's a bounce pass at 6'6", Courtney, okay? Most 6'6 players don't bend their knees. They all want the lob. Kitley shapes up to the ball. She'll show the numbers on her jersey and two hands while she's holding off the defense because she's in a really good post-up stance. And she's on balance, so when she catches it, she can fade away and reverse pivot. It's beautiful. 26 points beautiful today. The other thing Coach Walls will show his team is if you play with this kind of defensive energy and this kind of effort, the way they trap, the way they try to get Virginia Tech off balance, they did their job in, in, in segments of the game, but then they couldn't counter and score on the other end. Well, when it comes to the NCAA tournament, Right now, Virginia Tech projected to be a three seed regardless of the results of this game today, although it looks like they're going to come out with a win. They're an 18 in the net. This is a team, again, that went to the Final Four last year, their very first appearance in school history. Well, and if Louisville should lose this game, and it looks like they will, then they might slip off the four line. But it's okay, they've got a chance to get back to the four line because the schedule in the ACC will give you plenty of opportunity to get some quality net wins. Again, Charlie Cream has nine teams out of the ACC projected in the field that's tied for the most with the SEC, who also has nine. Strack just stuffed Jefferson. They wave off the basket. Foul on the floor. Second on Amor. Karis Baker will sub in for Georgia Amor. 23 points tonight, 10 assists, four rebounds. Impressive. And you talked about Elizabeth Kidley had not won in this building before. This is the first W. This is a tough place to come in and get a win. It always has been tough. Jeff Walls' club for 13 consecutive years has led the ACC in attendance. It's always been a tough crowd. It's a big W right here, Courtney. Go on the road and beat a top 20 team, yeah. It's the first. More great women's college basketball coming up Monday over on ESPN2. You can see Hannah Hidalgo, Notre Dame take on Duke. 7 Eastern tomorrow night.
I had to think about that for a second. It is Sunday. Wait, <laughs> what day is it? Yeah. <laughs> where, where are we? We're in Louisville. It's been fun. It has fun been. Fun game. I think that's the first time they've gotten the ball behind the defense, and it results in a kick out three. I'm going to tell you, Virginia Tech was impressive. You know what Kitley does. You know what Amor does. And today was a day that Louisville just could not stop them from scoring. They couldn't take anything away. Well, Virginia Tech goes on the road, and they shoot 65.4% from the field. That is their best field goal percentage in an ACC game all time. And they win it 86-70.